Let's try out 2017 Amy 1 problem 1. There are 15 distinct points are assigned on ABC. So distinct means different. So we have 15 different points that's on our triangle ABC. The three vertices ABC, it may be beneficial to draw this out. So let's, let's, let's draw it out. My triangle is not the best. That's A, that's B, that's C. We have three vertices ABC, so this one, that's one, this is another one, this is another one. Three other points on side AB, so let's pick three random points on side AB, one, two, three. Four other points on side BC, so one, two, three, four. Five other points on side CA, one, two, three, four, five. So how many points do we have? We have one, two, three, we have the vertices. We have three here, we have four here, we have five here with of 12. So 12 plus three is indeed 15. So we have 15 distinct points. So what do we have to do? Find the number of triangles with positive area whose vertices are among these 15 points. Okay, so let's try to, let's try to think about how this problem is going to go. Let's say you pick this point, this point, and this point to be the vertices of the triangle. So we can draw our triangle like this. So that's easy to see. How about if we pick this point, this point, and this point? We can draw a triangle. So notice, if all three points are on different sides, you can draw a triangle. If two of the points are on the same side, you can still draw the triangle. But let's say all three of the points are on the same side. So like this, this, and this. Do you have a triangle? Well, you have a degenerate triangle, you have a line segment, and this thing does not have a positive area as required by the problem. So you're not going to count this as a triangle. So you're not going to count this as one of the triangles that you want to find. So how can you, how can you count how many triangles you have? And maybe you've realized, we're going to figure out how many ways we can pick three points. How many ways, how many ways can we pick can we pick uh, three points, so three vertices, out of 15 points? And this thing is going to count all the triangles. That's going to count this one. That's going to count this one. And it's, but, but the problem is, this thing is also going to count this one. Because by picking three points out of 15 points, you are counting this thing as a triangle. So you got to subtract. You got to subtract how number of ways, number of ways, we can pick three points on, on side. How many ways can we pick all three points on one side? On one side. So you are going to find how many ways we can pick three points out of 15 points. And you are going to subtract how many ways we can pick three points on one side, which makes sense. And now you should be left with number of triangles with positive area. And how can you find how many ways we can pick three things out of 15 things? That's combination. That's 15 choose 3. And all this means you are, you are picking 3 things out of 15 things. So this thing is how many things you have. This is how many things you're picking. So n is the number of things, number of things you have. And k is the number you're picking. So we, we have 15 choose 3 as the how many ways we can pick 3 points out of 15 points. And what are we taking away? We are taking away the number of ways you can pick three points on one side. On let's say let's start with side AB actually, so uh, we can go alphabetical order. On side AB we have five points, and we want to subtract the ways we can pick three points out of it. And on BC you have one, two, three, four, five, six points, and you want to subtract ways we can pick three points out of it. And on side AC you have seven points, and you're going to subtract out seven, two, three. And you may, you may ask me, how can you evaluate this? How do you evaluate 15 choose 3? And let's think about this. Uh, you, may, you may know the formula, n choose n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial. And that's one way of doing it. Another way, more conceptual ways to actually think it through. So you have three slots. And you're pick, you have 15 things. So for the first slot, you can put 15 things in it. For the second slot, since you already inserted one of the things into the first slot, you have 14 things you can pick. And for the last one, you can pick 13 things. So this thing is how many ways we can pick three things out of 15. But if you, if you think about this, you, this thing is counting A, B, C, 
and B, C, A as the same point. This thing is counting this, 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 A, B, C, and B, C, A as being different points. So you have to divide by how many ways we can rearrange. Rearrange three things on a line, which is three times two times one. So you, so 15 choose three is equal to 15 times 14 times 13 divided by three times two times one. So let's, let's figure this out. 14 and 2, 7 remains up top. 15 and 3, 5 remains up top. So you have 35 times 13, which is, if I can do this in my head, 14, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, I believe. Uh, 1, 5, 3, 5, yes, I believe so. 455 is 15 choose 3. And now let's evaluate 5 choose 3, 6 choose 3, and 7 choose 3. 5 choose 3 is going to be 5 times 4 times 3, and you are also going to divide by 3 times 2 times 1. 3 is cancel out. You have 2 up top, so this thing is 10. 5 choose 4. 5 times 4 times 3, 3 times 2. 3 times 2. 3 times 2 divided by... It's actually... It's actually... Well, what am I doing? It's actually 6 choose 3. I'm doing something that's not required by the problem. So 6 times 5 times 4 divided by 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. They cancel out, getting us 20. And 7 choose 3 is 7 times 6 times 5 divided by 6, which is 35. So our answer is 455 minus 10 minus 20 minus 35, so minus 65, getting us 390 as our final answer.